How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on, not on Forza Horizon 4 today, I nearly said it then. We're back with another video speaking about the brand new 2019 Need for Speed Heat. As we saw the trailer got released last week and since then we've been getting snippets of information, features and just gameplay of the game in general. I think most of the massive YouTubers are over at Gamescom right now playing the game hands on. So nice one to them, hope they're enjoying it. But I've been going through loads of information about the game, I've watched loads of videos, I've read loads of articles and I've got together all of the key exciting information that we know about Need for Speed Heat. So what I've done is I've got a notepad and I've written down absolutely everything that I think is exciting that we know about Need for Speed Heat so far. I've written down all the new information, all of the new features, all of the new customization, and all of the new stuff we're getting in a Need for Speed for the first time, along with a lot of information about some of this stuff as well. So if you want just a brief explanation and list of all the new stuff that we're getting in this Need for Speed, this should be the video for you. There may be a couple of things that I missed, but I think the best things are in this video by far. So you may have seen that a few days ago, I think we got the car list leaked. I did see that it was leaked somewhere, but it's all over the place, so I don't know if it was leaked. But we have the car list for Need for Speed Heat, and there's only 127 cars, which compared to Forza Horizon isn't many, but it's a Need for Speed, so 127 is reasonable. But within the 127 cars, there are some very exciting cars which I want to tell you about and show you that we're getting in Need for Speed at launch straight away. Some of the cool exciting cars are the following. We're getting the Lamborghini Huracan Performante and also the Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider. These are going to be available at launch. We're getting the Nissan GTR Nismo and the Nissan 370Z Nismo not something we see in Forza Horizon. We're getting the McLaren P1 GTR, which I'm very excited about. We're getting the standard P1 as well, but the P1 GTR, exciting. And then other bits like the brand new 2019 Ferrari 488 Pista and the Ferrari FXXK Evo. Quite exciting Ferraris. And yeah, that means Ferrari is also returning to Need for Speed as well. Another one that caught my eye, we're getting the 2019 Audi R8 V10 Performance Coupe, a kind of a new style R8. I'm looking forward to driving that in a video game. And then just a list of BMWs I'm going to list. We're getting quite a lot of BMWs. I'm excited to drive some of those. So yeah, when it comes to the car list for Need for Speed, I'm quite excited by it. There's quite a few cars which we've not really had in a game for a long time, or at least the latest title game anyway. Now before we get into all the new customization and the new features and upgrades that the game has, let me talk about a bit more car related stuff. There's going to be, or there currently is, a Need for Speed Heat app available on mobiles. Now I've heard that it's not actually available in many countries and it's not available on many devices. I've checked on mine and I can't get it on mine, annoyingly. But hopefully eventually this Need for Speed Heat app will be available on all devices. It is called Need for Speed Heat Studio. And what this app basically does, it allows you to kind of log in, um, upgrade your body parts of your cars, add designs to them, create designs to them on your phone. And then when the game releases, you can upload all the stuff you've done into the game. Basically allowing you to customize all your cars from your mobile and upload them to the game when it's released. Now apparently, as the weeks come before to, before release, every week or so they're going to be adding more cars to the app, and by the time the game's released, they should all be on the app, if that makes sense. There's probably some rewards and features and awards and stuff that you'll get through the app, but for now, I think what we know is you can customise your stuff on your phone, customise your cars on there, and upload them to the game when it's released, which is pretty cool. Now on to lots of the random features and stuff like that that are going to be in the game. Number one, engine swaps. I think most people know by now, engine swaps are finally in Need for Speed. I think we got a glimpse of this in the trailer and we were like, is that an engine swap or have they got the car sound wrong? But I think it's now confirmed that it is an engine swap. I think it was a GTR that sounded like a V8, which is not correct at all, but turns out it was an engine swap. So we're getting engine swaps as Need for Speed. I don't think we know much information about it yet. We just know that they're confirmed. So that's going to be exciting. Again, most of you probably know about this one as well. We're getting exhaust sound tuning. Not only can we change the exhaust tips and the style of the exhaust, but we can now also change and style the sound of the exhaust. Picture on screen right now, you can change the tone of the exhaust from simple to throaty. You can change the timber from smooth to an aggressive. You can change the overrun from subtle to subtle to raw. 
or the resonance from stock to metallic. And obviously as you're fiddling with this, you can preview the exhaust sound as you're going along by just tapping the accelerator button. But this is going to make for some very interesting sounds. I think there's going to be some key things to do in here to make it sound certain ways. It'll be interesting to see what people come up with when it comes to that. So not only are we getting engine swaps, not only are we getting exhaust sounds, just combining them together, we're going to have so much customization, it's going to be unreal. Speaking of customization, we're also getting character customization. You'll now be able to customize your character from male or female or attack helicopter. You'll be able to do the usual stuff of customizing a character, your clothing, your accessories, maybe probably your hair. And apparently there's going to be some real brands within the game as well, like shoe brands shirt brands hoodie brands like adidas and stuff like that adidas is the only name i've seen at the moment but it's going to be cool to see some real brands within a video game so character customization is something to look forward to and also we're being told that we're getting a brand new paint engine may not notice much difference for the standard painting but there's also going to be additional effects that you can put on your cars now as well like in forza horizon 4 where you can have like the chameleon type camos carbon fiber you should be able to add like sparkles to it and glintzes. I'm not really sure how to explain it. I can't remember the word now. But special effect paints to the car are now available through the new paint engine, which is going to be cool to look forward to. And another new thing they're doing, they are doing crews. You can now create your own crew, invite your friends to it and have a crew. Now, this seems like a combination between the GTA type style, type, type style crews and the Forza Horizon crews. As you know in Forza Horizon you can create a crew, invite people to it and then you all kind of drive around with the same clan tag. Well in Need for Speed apparently you can create your crew, invite your friends to it, you can have your own clan tag, everyone knows what a clan tag is, and you can also have your own emblem which I presume the owner of the crew designs and then anybody that's in the crew can then use this emblem on their car very similar to GTA 5. And then also a bit more to go with the customization type style of it when you're upgrading your cars in your garage. It seems like they've gone up another level when it comes to the amount of customization you can get. I think we got a glimpse of an absolute massive spoiler in the trailer. The picture of it on screen, that's absolutely massive. I've not played many Need for Speeds in the past, so I'm not sure if this is the usual thing, but I saw a lot of people excited about seeing this so maybe we're getting some more extreme funny body parts like some extreme spoilers added to the game as well and then something i noticed that ar12 nick actually noticed that when you're customizing your car and you're kind of in the cinematic view in your garage you can test out the like the aero stuff of the car for example he was sat in his mercedes in the garage and he could preview the air suspension in action you can preview the exhaust in action as well, which makes me wonder that when you're in the garage, you can probably preview everything aero related. Maybe like with the P1 GTI, you'll be able to preview the, the spoiler going up and down, the DRS, etc. But it seems like there's a lot more cinematic things now that you can kind of test out, have a look at the air expansion in action, have a look at everything in action really before you go out for a drive. Now I saw a couple of people in my Discord talking about the car levelling and the, the, the parts rarity and stuff like that. From what we've seen so far there appears to be five or maybe a bit more levels of part rarity. There's stock, pro, race, elite and ultimate and we have seen glimpses of pro plus and elite plus. So does that mean we're going to get Ultimate Plus and whatever? I'm not sure. I don't know much about this from the previous Need for Speeds, but that's what I know about it so far anyway. But it's coming back just like the previous Need for Speeds. So overall, I am very excited for Need for Speed Heat. It's certainly going to be a change up from Forza Horizon 4. I'm still going to do Forza Horizon 4, as I've set, kept saying, but Need for Speed Heat is going to be something nice to add to that. I believe the release date is November the 8th, and I think you can get it three days early if you have the Origin Premium subscription or something like that. I think I read it. There's a way to get it three days early on November the 5th. So I'm sure you could expect probably some gameplay at midnight on release on November the 5th. There'll probably be a couple more Need for Speed Heat videos before release talking about information and stuff that we know and stuff like that. But other than that, oh, my Snapchat's gone off. In my opinion, these are some of the most exciting things to come to Need for Speed Heat that we just found out about. The customization, the cinematic stuff, the just... This is so much of it and I'm really excited. Let me know if I've missed anything major or big that's new to the game that I've not mentioned in this video. Mention it in the comment section below. But for now guys, let me know in the comment section below what your favourite feature is that you're looking forward to. 
for now guys leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and i'll see you all save that file